Hi there, Denny here from Cloudhead Games. Uh, in December, we released our Exploration School, which was basically a year of wrapping our head around what VR is, how to best interface with it, how to use locomotion in VR. Um, and we learned a lot from that experience. One of the things that we learned is that people have a very low tolerance for rotational accelerations, especially on things like a gamepad or motion controllers. Um, it's a different situation when you're using a mouse because you can kind of create a predictable sense of rotation. Um, but it's that whole disconnect between what your eyes are seeing, what your ears are feeling, your inner ear, the vestibular disconnect. That's the thing that makes people sick. So we created what we're calling the VR comfort mode out of that year of sort of research. And we think that we've landed on a solution that works very, very well. So in this scene behind me, you can see uh, one of our early attempts to implement what we're calling the VR comfort mode. Um, so this is just a white box area. As you can see, if I'm hitting my right stick, this seems like a very obvious thing to do, but if you, we started thinking about dancers and how they write themselves when they're spinning in a circle. In order to stop from feeling dizzy, they spot a location in the distance, they turn very quickly, they rotate their head, it kind of snaps, and they continue on that same course and direction. So we're doing the same thing in a VR context. So right now I can use my head to subtly navigate, but if I want to do a gross rotation, I use the right stick and it will snap me a predictable amount of degrees on an arc and at a predictable uh, amount of velocity. And it turns out that these values that you use to, to do these turns are very important to making the, the experience feel comfortable. So um, you can get a lot of really great um, subtle uh, course correction and navigation through this system and you can do so without making people feel sick. Um, and while we were at GDC we were showing this off in our our full build of our first uh, chapter of the game and it worked very well. Uh, the gross majority of people had a very very comfortable experience and this was their first time in VR and that's so important. It's a challenge and a problem that many people haven't actually figured out yet. Uh, but we're getting very close to finding that solution with this system. So this is our GDC build. It's, it's the beach level. It's actually the first uh, opening act to our game. And it's really intended to just sort of give you an idea of how to interact in VR, how to, how to interact with objects, how to move in VR. Uh, and so what we found was we really had to blend a number of different systems to make this all work and feel good. So you have look move, which meaning I can, you know, look where I want to go and it will, the body will follow naturally, and that feels pretty good in VR. But when I want to do gross rotations, I use the right stick. You get your snap turns happening in VR comfort mode, uh, and that feels very good. Um, we also incorporated something quite unique where if you stop moving, you're actually in tank mode, so your body doesn't rotate. Um, it just looks forward. This works really great in the context of uh, motion control. We've also obviously implemented gamepad controls so that uh, these snap turns and everything work just like they would with uh, motion controllers. Um, nothing is really substantially changed. We also have um, uh, strafing, so you can strafe to the left and right with the left stick. Um, anyways, it's a mix of all of these systems that makes for a really grounded, comfortable feeling uh, first-person VR experience. We strongly believe that this is something that will probably be adopted widely in, in VR locomotion, especially with these types of experiences, uh, because it solves a crucial problem that everybody's kind of been trying to wrap their heads around. So that's our locomotion system. As excited as we are about the, the breakthroughs we've made there, we're very excited to continue working on the Gallery 6 elements. We have a, a lot of really amazing stuff that we're working on right now that we can't show you quite yet, but we're getting closer and closer to showing you the sort of full scope of what we're working on. We hope that this will be a very approachable beginner VR experience for the masses. That's what we're building. That's what we've always sort of intended um, this game to be. Something that people, you know, giving them a really compelling first experience in VR. So that's it. Glad you guys could come and watch what we're doing and uh, we'll talk to you soon.